guys, I'm going to be doing another Topic Wednesday, and this week's theme is parenting staffs, like how to find the right parenting staffs. So Fearless! Hey guys, so sorry if you hear my fan in the background. You're banging. The fan is because it's super, super, super hot. That's better. Okay, so the fan is because it's super hot. The banging is because they're doing renovations. So just ignore all the extra noises or the outside noises because my window's open. I would have done this later when all these noises were gone and would have a better environment for me to film. It's just that I have to do this as soon as I can because I don't have all night because I have to go to school again tomorrow and I have to come early. So I'm trying to prioritize my time and then I have some videos to watch, which I don't know how many I'm going to have, but I know I'm going to have some, so anyway, that's besides the point. So today guys, I'm going to be doing another Topic Wednesday and this week's theme is parenting styles, like how to find the right parenting style. So let's get started. Okay. So basically, here's how I would say finding the right parenting style. Well, first you have to like agree with your partner is how you want to parent. Like you guys can both have your own parenting styles. Like I'm not saying you would have to always agree on everything. Like one parent can have the one way and the other parent can have the other way. We have to like agree enough to not argue about it and be like, no, this kid should have this, no, this kid can't have this. Or, and then you have to like cooperate with the kid too. Now the kid wants to do it because you can't like, like okay, yes, you're the parent and you can control in a way of how your kid is, but it seems like you can't fully control the way your kid acts. That's up to them and what they do in their actions. Okay, yes, you can discipline them. Okay, yes, you can do things to like try to stop them from doing those things, but it's not always going to work. Sometimes it may not work. And you have to learn from your mistakes in the way, because sometimes you might punish them that way and that may not work. And you have to find another punishment that might work better. Or something that might help them realize that that's not the right thing to do. And it might be hard. Some people are very uncooperative, cooperative, and they don't work very well with people or rules or anything. And no matter what they discipline they get, they still, you know, break the rules, still do this, still do that. 